Hi there and welcome or welcome back. It's Tanya from Touch Treasures. Um, I'm back with my scraps and I've pulled out some of the strips. So I've got a pile of uh, plain neutrals, uh, greens and neutral text, maps, music and what else have I got? Up here I've got um, some bits that I can use for um, lengthways, so some tickets and adverty things, did I say tickets, and labels. Um, I've put these separately because there was green and I just wanted them separate. So these are tickets from uh, Tapeology. I do have a coupon code for them and I've pulled out some uh, book page images which had fussy cut and I think there's a few stickers in there and then I've got a little pile of tiny uh, numbers and things like that I feel like I might need some more fussy cuts but we'll see how we get on so am I going to want to glue stick these or I think I'm going to use the um, cosmic shimmer. Let me just get a pin and just check if it's blocked up or not. I don't even care. So I'm going to make so many bases, and then we'll. Um, I'm just going to do it on on this book. Um, so many bases and then I'll decorate so many and we'll, we'll do it like so for about, you know, 30-40 minutes and then I'll carry on um, what I'm doing off screen. Did I say that I'm making page edges? Um, so I'm making clusters which are... Tall and narrow rather than, um, you know, a more rounder um, way. So I like to use these on the sides of pages and I don't know what else to use them for. If they're smaller than this, you can use them for different things. But I guess when they're this way, you could add them to um, a belly band. They could be the belly band if you reinforced um, your, your bottom piece. But um, yeah, I'm making these for the edges of pages okay so keeping it really simple like um, like I did the clusters okay so that's one we'll bring it back in a little while and um, I want to really just grab you know the first kind of um, thing so that's really long. Let's just take that bottom bit off. I'm going to have to pair it with something. So I could perhaps do, do that. Or it would be better with the ripped part into the middle. I'm just going to rip down there. Or I could turn it over and do that side but I'm liking that side okay and then I'm going to want something thicker hmm I didn't bring <coughs> many tall pieces of um, plain for some reason so I'll tear that down and that down 
like so okay and I've got some of these pieces which I've torn off um, notebooks and stuff so I can put that on as some interest so let's pop that on I don't know why I didn't get the longer pieces on. I've kept the longer pieces in in the pencil case um, I think because they all fitted together nice I think I just took um, all the all the bits and bobs out so we'll just we'll just make make do and say so they don't have to be from the top of the page to to the bottom of the page not at all okay that's another one so maybe let's start by picking the neutral use this as the back one because that's obviously longer but then why would I use a piece as wide as that I don't know let's pop that on I'm going to keep that pile there because they can then go into the into the small um, scraps not these bits <laughs> I like mainly ripped edges I don't mind some not ripped but um, I definitely prefer the ripped so pop this down doing it with glue stick but after about 10 minutes you just absolutely stuck up so I do I want something no I might I'll see about little bits because obviously I've got things to to decorate so that's another one We'll do, say, two more and then we'll, we'll decorate some. So if we put this with, with that, I like that. Let's do that. And like I said about the clusters, I'll probably put a line of stitching um, through them. So what about... Let's put one of these thin strips down. This is some offcuts of uh, ledger paper. So they can pop that down there and then that over, over the top. Like so, okay do another and then we'll have a, a decorating session so let's do another one of these taller ones which I've just ripped down <laughs> that's might use the um, that's a little bit of um, corrugated card let's use a off cut of some scrapbook paper this is paper as well it's not it's not card I did take most of this out and put it in another file but um, the strip the thin strips I did keep keep out
So yeah, I'm like that. Don't they? Right, we'll move that out of the way. And let's have a look. So, let's have a look at the big images first. So, oh, I like that. That must be from the same same box. I don't, I don't want that on that. That's nice. Forget me not. And I've got this one. No, that seems to clash like that. Um some look at that. Nope. This one, I think that's red poppy. No, what does that look like? No, I've tried that one. So, they was all the fussy cuts I brought out. So, I might have to find something else for that one because I mean, I could go with the let's put some strips on it, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'll put that on there a second. So I want something else behind it. So let's have a look at some of these tall pieces. So we've got a bit of pink in that. So I love that. I'll have a bit of green in that one. Maybe some green in that one. Got another large one there. I might have that for some colour. If not, I'll use that one. Need to get the ink out. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly ink around here. green on that side so maybe if I add that in somewhere like that oops. yeah I like that so I'm gonna stick that down I think I'm gonna want some numbers and smaller things I can't remember how far down it was Yeah, I like that, so I'll get that down. Okay, so I'll put that one onto one side because all that needs is some 
smaller things. Maybe I might put some brown in. I don't think that's long enough. Let's put this in. Yeah, I'm going to pop that there. I think this is a sticker. These will be from Tapology or um, your creative studio. So cut this out. I did pretty well. <laughs> and I think it needs something brown down here so I'm gonna stick that in yeah let's stick that down I don't know if that will want anything else or or not with putting those bits in. May not, we'll see. Okay. So where do we want? I'd like to keep that imitation bronze. Let's try this one. I think I'm going to put it there and that will give that a little bit more um, stability on that edge. So I'll pop that there. Didn't ink around that other one, did I? Around the actual main part. Concentrate going round here. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to bend, bend that over. I wouldn't have that bit going over the page. It'd have to go on that side because obviously this is. But, yeah, it's a shame it's not thicker because obviously you could have a charm um, through it, but I think I think it would just tear it as only, um, you know, writing paper. But if I stuck it to the page, I could perhaps have something dangling from it. We'll see. Right, that's those inked up. Let's do this one. So, if we add that there, no, that's going to cut too much of it out. No, I want it about there. So, I'll stick that down. Where did I say? <laughs> Was it around there? Okay, okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's ink around that 
one and then I'll put a couple of tickets on the other one. Okay. I'm trying to have my camera a bit closer, you know, because I'm doing smaller things. But the only thing is the camera then is right in my eye line um, and I feel that it's hard to to get over your project at all because otherwise I'd be smashing my head into the into the camera. It's quite off-putting um, and because I, I think that um, you know normally you could have it quite high up but um, that one um <clears throat> you know and just bring the lens in closer but um i think the thing that tightens it or for me to go a bit higher i think it's had it it doesn't seem to be holding it but i don't really want another one until i've moved um Till we've done some alterations in the house and I, I like that and um, I've gone into a new new craft room which I don't think is going to happen this year but it is happening you know it's on the it's happening <laughs> it's on the it's happening list it's just we've got a few things to do in the garden <clears throat> monetary wise um, and obviously you know especially in the UK you've only got so many months out of the year really for garden type projects and then um, I need my boiler taken out and a new boiler putting in so that's probably going to be you know it for for this year there's two biggish jobs that need doing outside yeah I like that one now okay so that's those okay let's see what little bits we can put on I'll just bring them over here. A lot of these look like they've been inked. Take that out, that belongs over there. Okay, probably want something going that way. Maybe. I do like that. Keep that there. I don't want a circle. Stamp might be nice. Keep that out. Oh, I think that's better. Yeah, I like that. That's the number, I think it's from our gentleman uh, kit. Which is myself and collage type. So that's where that's from and I do believe this is probably um, a Tracy Fox label okay I don't think I want anything else on on that one so that's one done got a bit more space on on this one for some reason I didn't get any butterflies out I did um, sort some butterflies out this morning, but I put them on a tray for an upcoming uh, project. Not thought about um, I like that. Okay, that's upside down. I think that might be better on that one, lot colour wise.
don't think I'm going to use those labels. Got a little clock. No, I think that's from the gentleman's kit. Another number. I think that might be nice on. On there. Might want something paler on that one. Let's just see what that looks like. I don't want a circle. What do I want there? I don't know why I got them out if I don't now want them. <laughs> I don't want that. So I've got a green label. These are a freebie. Um, I think they're on my Buy Me A Coffee. If not, they're on my uh, Patreon. There's several colours of these freebies now. Um, there's green, there's pink. There's purple and there's a brown one, but that's going to be um, put up another time. I've, I've got it. I've just not not put it up yet. So some of them are on coffee and some on Patreon. Okay, these are stickers. I'm going to just ink around that. That had been inked. That other one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I like that. And if they're still too plain, you know, you can put a little bit of stamping um, on there, a bit of text or something, or you can go in, you know, with a small scrap and just stick. Um, let's just do that. Um, stick some some down to make it not look so um gappy just gonna put that around there we go that, that fills that up you know and i could put some down there if i wanted but that's fine so that's that one we've already picked these up <laughs> But yes, I think, you know, I may add some butterflies uh, to these. I probably will. This is, These are going to go in the Meadow Journal. Even though I'm not, you know, primarily, primarily um, using... I don't think I've ordered... Okay, my camera had cut out, hopefully. Oh, let me just show you that one just in case it has cut out uh, before... Okay, so I'm using another one of those labels. I'll pop that, or oh, I'll put it at the bottom actually. That's it. And then a little circle here. Guessing these are stickers. Again, these are from Typology or your creative studio. I don't actually have your creative studio linked um, on my link tree. We ought to perhaps add it. Okay, that's that one. And this one, now I did say this has probably got, got enough. Let me just maybe go a little bit lighter. Let's just ink around. Oh, yeah, let's just think around that and see, see what it looks like. Oh, I've got a, oh let's put the Memories of the Meadow ticket down. These are uh, printed like two to a page, so they're smaller, which I like printing everything off full size, and then I print everything off half size. Gives you a lot more to to play with. I do want this on. I do like it there for some strange reason. <laughs> Put it right on the edge. Okay, so that's that. them decorated. Now, some of them, I'm going to put um, some page tabs on. Now, these ones, is, 
kindly sent to me by Deb. So thank you very much, Deb Hale. Probably wants a smaller one actually. What have I done with them? <coughs> Both of them under here. So I've got some tinier, tinier ones. Try this. So, if I put it on the side of the page, then this will um, stick out and give some interest to the side of the book. I don't want to do it with all of them, but um, yeah, I'll do it with a few of them. So, that one's fine to do it with. This one's fine probably either side so I'll go that side and go around that and again if you wanted to uh, put holes in and put a, a, a grommet and a little charm dangling uh, out of your journal that would be nice Okay, so <laughs> that's those two. Um, I don't want to put one on there. This is very fragile and I don't want to put it on there because that's too chunky. I could put one on there and I obviously don't want to put one on there. So let's put one on here. I might be able to put a bigger one on here. Let's try, try this one. Yeah, I'll put that one there. I've already inked that, haven't I? I think I did. So, that's that one. Okay, I'm not getting any more tabs out. I shall just use these ones that I'd got. There was just in, in me you know, tray to, to use up. I need to go back in my scraps. So I'm going to do the rest um, off screen. I think you've probably seen seen enough. Um, you know, I'm going to decorate them very similar. I will need to pull some more uh, fussy cuts out. And um, yeah, I shall keep going until I've run out of uh, one of these piles. Because I'm thinking how many. If I put four in each signature, that would be 12, wouldn't it? So I've got five there. So I definitely want another seven. Um, so I'll see what my piles look like after I've done another seven. Um, but if I've got any meadow things left when um, I've done the three signature, then I will put um, a listing or two up on Etsy. I don't often have leftover ephemera now because uh, I don't make, I used to mass make, um, you know, everything. Um, <clears throat> and then I just got swarmed out with, with ephemera. Um, so yeah, I only now put, put the odd one or two um, on there. So if you're interested keep keep your eyes out uh, for that and yeah that's it so thank you very much for joining me and um i might leave the scraps alone for a bit i might go on to doing some of the card uh next week and then i'll come back to um my tray after uh, and then i can see what i'm working on and i can obviously do them in in that um colour or oh, theme did I decorate that oh I did decorate the clusters up so all we need to come back and do out of the scraps is these and I saw Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah make something like this and made it into an accordion uh, folio journal so I'm going to do that with these um, and I'm going to decorate it with the 
uh, brown bird things that I've been making on and off this year. So that will be a project within itself. So I will come back at some point and do that. So yeah, I think next week.